this is my process for creating new items in toast. I use this for all of our seasonal drinks because for the most part, new seasonal items at our coffee shops are very similar to the ones that we already have on the menu. So if you're in the menus section of the back office, you should see something like this, a menu management tool. They want you to use menu builder and you can, but I prefer advanced properties. Going into here, we can see all of our menus. If we toggle them down like so, we can see the menu groups underneath and even the items underneath that. We're gonna select the menu group that we want to add an item to, and we're gonna scroll down, and what I do is I just find a similarly priced item that has the correct modifier groups on it that the item I'm about to make also will contain. We're gonna throw a new name on here. We can select a new button color for this new item. We can select pricing if it does in fact need to change. Mine is going to be the exact same as I already have listed. If we need to modify our modifier groups, we can do that in this section here. We can add or delete as we need to. And it's going to expand all the details for those modifier groups if you need to change anything there. And then we have our advanced properties where we can change our inventory. If you want to publish this and just put it out of stock, you can do that here. I'm going to leave it in stock because I'm not going to publish it yet, as you'll see in a moment. We can throw in the description here. If we have an updated image, we can add that, any tags that we may be using. And then finally, I make sure, because this is my process, to turn the visibility off. That way, if I do publish the changes that we've made here, it's not going to show up in my POS and especially not in my online ordering before I'm ready for it. We'll click Save, and we can click Publish now because we turned the visibility off. Alternatively, if we had the visibility on, you could always do the inventory and change this to out of stock if you wanted to tease it on the menu but not actually be able to order it. Check out the description below for any links to the code that we used here, as well as a free weekly newsletter that I write every week to help you get good at spreadsheets and productivity in your small business. Hope it's helpful. Have a great one. The other place that I will show you where you can do the visibility changes, say it's a few weeks from now and you're ready to turn the item on and it's ready to go live. I go to the advanced properties. I make sure that visible to is selected from this menu. So it toggles that on right here. Then I scroll down to the item in question. It'll say none selected and I'll just select wherever I'm going to be carrying that, save and publish. Check out this video next for some more how-to tutorials about Toast POS. Uh, make sure to comment if you'd like to see some specific walkthroughs. I'm very active on the channel for this type of thing. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, all that stuff. Appreciate your time and goodbye.